Hey everyone, Dude's Jude here back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video and today we're taking a look at the 5 best budget meta decks for Season 12 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So Master Duel has been pretty expensive lately. A lot of the meta decks are pretty stacked on ultra rare cards and it can be very difficult to catch up especially with the amount of gems in events. Um, sometimes not being enough to craft um, all the UR cards you might want in certain decks you want to build. So to get you started in Master Duel or to help you make a deck that can rank up and allow you to grind for gems easily, uh, I've decided to show you five budget meta decks that you can play in rank and get you some pretty decent results. So first off, we have the uh ever infamous um well budget eldritch deck well eldritch is arguably one of the cheaper meta decks arguably the cheapest meta deck because you can just stack um a bunch of generic uh trap cards that are really good and slap the eldritch engine there and you can have a pretty solid control deck that will annoy your opponents until uh pretty much the end of the game allow you to get pretty easy wins, pretty solid wins. And of course, this deck runs floodgates, even though um these all of these floodgates here are limited to two, like Skill Drain, Gozen Match, and Revelry of Warguards. Eldritch is still a really powerful deck because um Eldritch the Golden Lord is a strong grind game card. You can just revive this by sending a spell or trap you control to the graveyard, or you can use its removal effect which is pretty powerful because it's non-targeting and you know um, when you special summon this it, it's a 3500 attack beat stick that cannot be destroyed by effects so you know pretty powerful and you know what's crazy is pot of extravagance is a super rare so you can easily draw two and you just need to put some generic um whatever extra deck monster here you know just to mill them off uh Pot of Extravagance, and then um, the Eldritch Engine is uh, just a couple of SRs, you know, one SR, three SRs. Sometimes you don't even need Elixir of Black Awakening, but you do need uh, Elixir of Scarlet Sanguine for this one. And for the generic trap cards, Torrential Tribute, old school uh, destruction trap card, really powerful. Compulsory Evacuation Device, just to bounce an opponent's card, always powerful. Lost Wind is a face-up negate that also has the monster's attack, and you can recycle this if your opponent special summons, which happens very often. Dogmatical Punishment is another form of removal, so really powerful. Ice Dragon's Prison is another removal that also allows you to steal an opponent's monster, which is really, really powerful. Solemn Judgment is from the bundle, so you can use uh, get that bundle, use one copy of Solid Judgment. It's a really powerful Omni Negate. And Golden Land Forever, another Omni Negate. So, uh, within the Eldritch Engine, really powerful card. Of course, as I said, Floodgates, two Rivalry, two Skill Drain, two Gozen. You can also play Anti Spell Fragrance, but I think that would uh, kind of hinder your strategy, strategy, especially if you want to use Pot of Extravagance or Eldland. Uh, one Guardians to Golden Land, just in case. Uh, Pokero is really powerful because it's a banish from Graveyard, which can uh, disrupt your opponent's attempts to recycle or combo up. Conquistador is a generic top one card on field, face up, which is pretty powerful always. And that's pretty much budget Eldritch. It's pretty cheap. Um, quite easy to learn because uh you just need to learn how to time your trap card activations right. And having floodgates really helps in slowing down your opponent and allowing you to uh play at your own pace, which is uh may not be the favored playstyle of a lot of players, but if you're looking for a really cheap deck that could get you started in ranked in Master Duel, uh, Eldritch will always be a pretty solid option. Now, next up, we have um, one of the decks that you can build off of um, a structured deck, and that is uh, Salamangrate. 
So Salamandrate is a really powerful uh link deck, link based deck that allows you to um have the have cards like Deco Talker Heat Soul that will allow you to just keep drawing cards, which allow you to draw hand traps for disruption. You have a powerful Omni Negate with Salamangrate Roar. You have a lot of Salamangrate monsters that enable you to just keep on extending to allow you to go into Sunlight Wolf, even get Salamangrate Sanctuary to get your field spell protection with Bail Links. You have Mirage Stalio to even help get your combo started or extend. And you also have an OTK line with Update Jammer, Transcode, and Access Code. Um, this deck is... Uh, the only thing you really need to craft here is um, Access Code Talker and at least one Maxi. Okay, if you're new to Master Duel, um, I think one of the first URs you need to craft hard is maxi because you'll be using this for um you'll be using this on every deck almost every deck that you can make in master duel and of course you need to get ash blossom from the bundle and a droplet and imperm also from that bundle regeki also comes free and reborn so you can just stack these in um the sada mangrate structure deck is worth 500 gems per structure deck so spend 1500 gems and you get all of the amazing Salamangrate monsters, which are pretty cool. Uh, a really strong, solid combo deck. Mid-range combo deck, which allows you to just set up a pre uh, pretty solid board. And you also get free Signet Mining for each Salamangrate structure deck, which is crazy because this is one of the best search cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because you can use this on any Cybers deck, which you'll see later. And also, as I said, Deco Talker Heat Soul is part of that structure deck, so it's really great. So it's a this is a really powerful monster. It's a draw two, draw one card per turn, and you have Sunlight Wolf, which is like the heart and soul of your uh, Salamangri combos. It allows you to recycle spells and traps, which is really powerful. Roar is a great Omni Negate, as I said, and you also have Rage, which uh is uh destruction so you can destroy uh opponent's cards with just as long as you have a salaman great link monster and that's really powerful but yeah overall if you're looking for um a budget deck that's pretty easy to learn and allows you to just get used to um the pace of the fast pace of modern Yu-Gi-Oh, is pretty cool now next up we have um budget cyber dark so cyber dark is another deck that you can build off of the structure decks and the end game of this deck the main goal of this deck is to um fusion summon cyber darkness dragon and turn it into cyber dark and dragon and you need five different uh cyber dark cards to achieve that and that allows you to make a pretty powerful boss monster that's uh, unaffected by your opponent's effects and it's really hard to out because 5000 attack and yeah it's a really powerful boss monster and that's the end goal of cyber dark and budget cyber dark you just uh buy three of the cyber dark structure deck and you pretty much get all of this i think you have to craft chimera tech rampage dragon and cyber twin if i recall but regardless, all of these are um, from the structure deck and from the bundles, like Lightning Storm, Forbidden Droplet, Regeki. Regeki is free from the solo gates. Uh, of course, as I said, you can you should craft Maxi. Ash Blossom is from the bundle. Everything else here, like Power Bond, Cyber Emergency, all the Cyber Dragon and Cyber Dark cards, they're all under... Uh, that structure deck so it's very easy to get you can even use cyber eternal for like a reborn on cyber end or cyber darkness cyber darkness is also a powerful omni negate monster that you can end on instead of cyber dark end so really powerful cyber dark invasion allows you to just um equip multiple monsters to your cyber darks just as long as you have space for your spell and traps and overall, this is a pretty solid deck, and um, the combo line is easy to um, easy to learn. 
it can take a while of take a good amount of practice before you do it but once you get the hang of it you can pretty much create a uh, a pretty untouchable boss monster by the end now next up we have um our second to last deck which is um dragon maid and budget dragon maid once again this is another uh budget deck that you can make using uh the structure deck so the dragon maid structure deck you can just buy three of them and you can get pretty much uh all of the dragon maid archetype with their fusion monsters like house dragon maid and um dragon maid shield which is really cool and the best part you also get hieratic seal of the heavenly spears which is really really powerful and it's crazy that you can get this off a structure deck that's amazing and you also get red eyes darkest metal dragon which is a really great monster to extend on in a, any dragon deck. And so, yeah. Um, For this one, I added extra hand traps. Um, So, Droll and Lockbird and Artifact Glancer are great budget hand traps. So if you don't have um, materials to max out your Maxi or Ash and Imperms, they're really good. Droll and Lockbird allows you to just stop your opponent from searching cards. Glancer prevents opponents from banishing cards which is pretty powerful for against a lot of decks and i just put generic staples here for building chalice droplet uh, lightning storm regeki and then the rest are dragon maids so there's dragon maid three copies of kitchen parlor and chamber dragon maid just so you have enough names so you can always start with a dragon maid name um dragon maid ernest and tin heck and lore par so just for your battle phase um battle phase uh dragon maids just in case you need them dragon maid hospitality for um extension dragon maid changeover for your fusion spell and tidying which is always a really powerful bounce trap card and allows you to just recycle your dragon maid so if you're looking for a dragon deck that's pretty pretty cool and powerful and but you want to play on the budget to get yourself started get dragon made it's a pretty powerful structure deck and um it will get better soon because um right now it's really good with the branded engine but eventually um future cards will help make dragon made uh, a bit more meta in the coming sets so watch out for that you can build this early and just tinker around and upgrade your deck uh, bit by bit now lastly, one of the best budget meta decks that you can build right now, especially with the water uh pack active for a couple of, until a couple of weeks is Marincess. So Marincess is a pretty powerful um link based deck that allows you to um combo off and create a pretty powerful uh, boss monster in Marinza's Aqua Argonaut, which is um, pretty much untargetable. Ah, I mean, when she's out there, she's the only one that can be targeted, but then she's then again, she's a huge beat stick, and she also has a spell and trap negate on the opponent's turn, which is powerful. And you ideally you want her to be summoned with crystal heart as material which turns um aqua argonaut into a really powerful towers like boss monster that uh, is unaffected by effects and it's the only monster you can attack so it protects the other marine monsters on the field and also you have a really powerful field spell in battle ocean which allows you to equip marine link monsters from your graveyard always a really cool deal but yeah, um, the deck is pretty simple. Uh, most of the deck is SR, and the only UR in Marinsas are the extra deck monsters, which is Coral Triangle, and of course, Aqua Argona. And the rest are rare, super rare, and rare. Yeah, yeah if you can see, they're pretty cheap. The extra deck's pretty cheap. And the best part, you can run three Pot of Desires here, which is super rare, and it's crazy, and... You can get the Sinet Mining um, from the Salamangrate Structure Deck and just plug it in here. So you have extra searches. Um, generic Hand Traps here, Droll and Lock and Lancia. And one, one Maxi, one Ash until you can upgrade them. And, you know, 
uh, other generic cards like Regeki, Monster Reborn, you can put Lightning Storm here, Droplet Infirm. You have Marincess Dive, which is a really powerful search spell for Marincess or a revive spell. And you also have Marincess Wave, which is also acts like uh, a second Imperm for Marincess, except you can activate it by hand. And for extension, I put Side and Sea Nettle here just uh, so you can, um, just for extra place. And there's extra space in the budget deck. But once you get enough hand traps and staples, now you have to um, really change it up soon. So, but yeah, uh, if you're starting out and you want a pretty cool, powerful link deck with an untargetable boss monster, Marisas is the ideal deck for you. And I guess that's it for our budget um, meta decks for Master Duel Season 12. And I hope you like this video. And if you have any suggestions for other budget decks that people can play or should play in Master Duel, please leave it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like, you can share this video, and you can subscribe to the channel to help the channel grow. Um, that would be really awesome. But for now, uh, this has been another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. So goodbye, guys.